Welcome to Tamil Isai Amudam. This is one of the signature events curated by Sampada that is dedicated to remembering and preserving the great works of Tamil composers for our future generations. Today is going to be a day-long memorable event filled with many prominent Bay Area schools taking part with the finale vocal concert by eminent senior musicians from India, Sri Delhi P. Sundarajan and team from 5.15 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Without further ado, I'd like to start today's event off by inviting Sri Dina Babu Kondu Batla Sir, the President and Dean of Silicon Andhra Music Performing Arts and Dance Academy for the welcome message. Good morning, everyone. On behalf of Silicon Andhra Music Performing Arts and Dance Academy Sampada, I invite you all for today's day-long event on Tamil composers. We have been talking about this for almost six months. I think last January, February time frame, we have done Dasoham project where you know, we try to compile all the Dasa Sahitya and presented in the virtual format, both in the music and dance. And we received so many appreciations from different people from the music and dance world for organizing such a wonderful program. You all know Safalja Music Academy has taken a very key role in putting together the program from the music side of it. And at the time, Divegaru proposed now we have done Dasa Sahitya, why don't we, can we do, think of something doing on the Tamil compositions? So then we have been thinking about it, finally, the dream is coming to a reality. And I want to take this opportunity, again we'll be talking more and more in the, throughout the day, but Divya Garu has taken a very key role in entire, you know, putting this program together where you know, he spent a lot of time in coordinating with all the Bay Area music and dance schools. And also, she is the one who convinced Delhi P. Sundarajan sir to be part of our Raga Sampada project. You all know what is Raga Sampada means. Raga Sampada, through Raga Sampada, we are trying to create a master repository where we are trying to compile all the compositions composed by, for music by different great musicians. If you look at it, I can pick one name, Mangalampali Balamur Lakshnagar. He composed more than 200 compositions. When he was alive, when he was alive, I heard that he recorded all these compositions somewhere. But that is not accessible to any of us. Now, his disciples are there. When they are active, when they are able to sing, we need to preserve the treasure. So we requested his direct disciples to compose. Basically, in the Raga Sampada project, the guru will teach a class to the master student. That is the master. We record that entire class. How his guru taught, how Balamurli Garu taught to his students, Mohan Krishna Garu or Prince Ramavarma, he is going to sing in the same way to his student. And we record that. And the notations, they are scattered across. We took all the lyrics, the notations that is in the paper format, we digitalized them. And also, I requested these musicians, if you sing by using all that Manodharma concepts with the accompaniment support, how you do it? Where do you improvise the Manodharma? That way, these three versions for each song, we have the master class, we have the notations, we have the, the singing on the concert format. These three versions, we are uploading into our Canvas repository, where you know, all the Sampada affiliated teachers have access to this repository. It is worth of, you, you cannot just measure the value of this repository in dollars. I can say that. No one else experimented this until now. <laughs> Similarly, Nedunuri Krishnamurti Garu, he composed Annamacharya, Ramadas songs for music. Because when Annamacharya was there, he has written 32,000 kirtanas. Out of that, 14,000 were available. Maybe 2,000, 3,000 were composed for music. But very few, there is, but, out of that, how many of them are really we can use in the real concert format? So we asked his direct disciples, Maladi brothers, to create that master repository for, for us. He, they accepted our request. They have created 58 songs so far. The work is still in progress. We don't want to stop it here. And then 
why can't we extend this to dasa sahitya why can't we extend this to tamil composers that is how the project it is going growing leaps and bounds and divya garu she took lead in talking to tirumala srinivas ji kalavathi avadur ji from karnataka to create this repository on the dasa sahitya and now dilip sundarajan sir accepted he created the repositories i think he has done seven or eight songs as a, to start with for today's launch in the evening we are going to launch those tamil compositions as well so at one place you have access to all these compositions the notations the concert format and the master class so that is the beauty of this raga sampada the one life is not enough to create this repository there are so much we can do there are so many great musicians sri pada pinakwani garu శ్రీరంగం గోపాలరత్నం గారు ఓలేటి వెంకటేశ్వర్లు గారు ఐ కెన్ పిక్ ఆన్ నేమ్స్ అండ్ యూ నో లాల్గుడి జయరామన్ సార్ సో లాట్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ అండ్ వీ నీడ్ టు క్రియేట్ దట్ రిపాజిటరీ అండ్ ప్రిజర్వ్ ఇట్ అండ్ పాస్ ఇట్ ఆన్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ జనరేషన్ దట్ ఈస్ ద మోటో బిహైండ్ ద రాగసంపద అండ్ ఐ అగైన్ ఐ వాంట్ టు థ్యాంక్ అండ్ నౌ జస్ట్ టు స్టార్ట్ దిస్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వీ వాంట్ టు కమ్ అప్ విత్ సమ్ ఇన్వకే ఇన్వకేషన్ సాంగ్ అండ్ షీ యాక్చువల్ ద స్కోప్ గాట్ బిగ్గర్ అండ్ బిగ్గర్ అండ్ బిగ్గర్ అండ్ షీ టుక్ ఇనిషియేటివ్ షీ కమ్ బ్రాట్ ఇన్ ఆల్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ ట్రైనింగ్ దెమ్ you know she took help from you know her guru and it's, it takes humongous effort and you know normally i am i spend a lot of time uh, I, I, but she spends more time than me because i i she sent messages at 1 o'clock in the midnight she sends messages at 1 o'clock in the night while going home yesterday i sent the, this is the stage setup then she started sending me the messages i could not even answer those things so that is kind of the person she is in so i am very fortunate that you know i had an opportunity i got i got associated with the divya just is two years our relationship you know in working on these projects and amazing dasoham project ramadas kirtanas tagaraja uh, pancharatna krutis everywhere and she helped as a judge you know in the during the covid time we helped more than 1500 artists and i requested her to come as a judge you know dinababu garu whatever compensation you are giving pass that to the artists back in india i don't need it so that is kind of you know kind hearted person she is so i can talk for a day whole day but now this is the beginning day so i don't want you to get bored with my speeches now i request uh, sridi to um, move on with the next item in the agenda thank you thank you so much sir tamil language is the oldest of all languages of the world similarly tamil essay also had its origin more than 2000 years ago there's a mention about yar in the ancient tamil grammar Tolkapiyam and other Tamil literature, Kurinji, Mullai, Maruddam, Neidal, and Pali. It will not be an exaggerated statement to say that Silapadikam, which is believed to be written between the 3rd and 6th centuries, is the treasure of Issei and many aspects of Issei and dance that have been discussed in length in this Tamil epic. Adiyarka Nallar and Arum Battanar who interpreted Silapadikaram had contributed a lot to Tamil essay, music and dance. The fact remains intact that puns are present in the religious literary works namely Tevaram and Tiruvasagam composed by Tirugnana Sambadar during the 7th and 8th and 19th century as well as Tirunavuk Arasar, Sundarar and Manikya Vasagar. as well as Kaare Kaal Ammayar during the 3rd century. Pursuant to the research already undertaken in PAN, the recent methods adopted in PAN research are categorically and critically analyzed by the well-experienced and efficient scholars in music and Oduwars on the dates 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th in the month of December every year, right from the year 1949. Listening to devotional songs like Devaram, Nala Ira Divya Prabandham, and renditions of Bharatiyar's poems, one would think it is safe to say that Tamil language and literature has always been a cardinal part of Carnatic music. It is indeed an honor for all of us to be partaking in such a historical journey of the preservation of Tamil music. And without further ado, I'd like to begin today's program Tamil Issei Amudam by Safliya Music Academy students of Srimati Divya Ramesh, singing a viruttam of Mahakavi Subramanya Bharatiyar. This invocation piece has been directed by Paramaguru Vidwan Delhi P. Sundarajan. Following this piece will be a composition, Gajavadana Karuna Sadana of Sri Papanasan Shivam. Thank you. Karpagavinayaka Kadavule Potri
Yeah, yeah, yeah.